Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about building textural layers on the gel plate with paint and stencils and handmade stencils and um, building up multiple layers of, of paint and textures and bringing in some mixed media techniques like um, neocolor crayons and watercolor pencils. I'm also going to be pulling ghost prints during the process and working those as well. And you'll see that lots of times the ghost print can come out just as strong or stronger than the primary print. And um, I, I can't wait to show you all the different things that I'm going to be doing today. So let's get started and I'll see you inside. So I'm going to show you how I build up really interesting textured layers using paint and mixed media techniques like neocolor crayons and colored pencils and stencils. And I go back and forth between the primary print and the ghost print. So it's just kind of a back and forth process. Okay, so I have, this is like a ghost print that I pulled the other day when I was um, making another video. And this was just like kind of cleaning up my plate and it has a little bit of texture on it. And I'm gonna add a little bit more texture. And then I have a bunch of these silhouettes that I cut out of um, cardstock, just different shapes of um, people. Now, if you don't like to draw, you can just get um, magazine people <laughs> or people you can cut out of magazines and um, trace them. This one, I, I just drew a profile and then I flipped it over and drew the other side because I kind of had this idea to do two facing each other over texture. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one, this um, ghost print where I pulled um, some color. I'm going to add a little more texture and then I'm going to add these and make something interesting. So that's what I'm going to do here and I'll show you how that goes. So this literally has, already has like a layer of green and then a layer of a texture and a layer of another color. So what I did was I pulled a ghost three times onto this paper. And um, so it's getting some interesting textures going, but this was never gonna be the finished piece. This was always just me cleaning up the plate and making ghosts. So I will show you what I'm gonna do. I am going to roll out I think another shade of green. Okay, let's see. This does not want to work, so I'm going to just pour it gently. There we go. Okay. Pour that on gently. I'm going to roll it out. Now, I would like to add more texture. Now, this is a different green than I have. It's not like the lime green that's already down there. So I'm going to add this texture plate. Get myself some scratch paper to roll off on. Here. And I'm going to put this guy in here. And I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to really I'm 
got a little bit more texture on there, which is kind of what I was going for. Now, I am going to pull a ghost off of this. I'm going to take this up, and then I have another piece here, which has a very light color on it. And I'm going to pull the ghost off. It's good to have a bunch handy because you don't want to waste this paint when you're making work like this. Okay. something going on on that now too okay so now what I'd like to do okay, I like what's happening on this piece so what I'm gonna do So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with this aqua blue. I'm going to roll that out. Get a nice layer of this on. Now I'm going to do these figures facing each other. Come in here with my piece. Get it centered on here. Get it attached. I want to make sure that this when you're working with the stencils you really have to make sure everything gets attached to your paper because the surface is uneven and you really want to make sure that the paint attaches to your your paper well okay yeah okay all right so now we're gonna pull a ghost I'm gonna go up go ahead and do that so I'm gonna take this off and this off and there's still a little bit of paint on here. So I'm going to grab my matte medium. I'm going to put just a few drops on here. I'm going to roll it out over the surface. We'll see. You know, it may do something. Sometimes with these, you just don't know, right? But you, they're fun to try. So I'm going to plop this guy back on.
And so we didn't get much of a pattern, but we picked up a little bit of the aqua blue. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this though. I love this one. So now I'm going to pull these off and then I'm just going to take this one and pull the ghost onto here. Not sure what will happen. Maybe nothing. Sometimes you don't really get um, a crazy effect with the ghost, but sometimes you'll get something interesting. You have the most subtle effect of, a, of two people on this one. It's interesting. Yep. Yeah. So what I would do in this case, because I do have an interesting effect, is I would go in So I grabbed my Neocolor 2 water soluble um, crayons. If you don't have these, you could use watercolor pencils to do the same as I'm about to do. But you can take um, things and now I've taken all the papers off, so they don't have their clothes on anymore. So, But um, you can come in and you can build up layers here and i'm just dipping in water off to the side here so that they're more um, uh, fluid and paint like so you can choose any colors that you want to use or work with and you can um, build up you know or accent areas that you want to accent and build up layers um, if they're really fun to work with they blend in such a, a beautiful way and you can you can really embellish these which is what i like to do because i do love to draw and um and paint so these are perfect for that. And so if you want to um, just get those areas that get the negative space um, around the faces and make those more defined, you can really start to um, build up those layers with your neo colors and you can really accent them yeah and you you can do them with contrasting colors whatever colors you know speak to you um are the ones you can use it doesn't have to be the exact same color um I'm gonna come in with another blue maybe and see what that looks like in here. And part of it. Now you can use these in different ways. You can you can color and then add water to it, or you can dip them right in and, and, and paint. It's almost like a paint stick at that point, which is what I'm doing right now too. The 
these are amazing now so this can this package i've had this particular pack i mean they're very they can be a little pricey but this particular package i've probably had them for 10 years and they and i do use them all the time they last for for seemingly forever i also have neo color ones which are the ones that are not water soluble and I like those just as much and I use them quite a bit as well. Yeah, these are really fun to use. Okay. So you get the idea. I would just go in here and really define the negative space. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build up the negative space here. And um, accent that. I'm trying to find here a dark green because I can see that negative space really great on that side, but not so much on this side. There we go. There. There. So. Okay, now we're getting there. Now we're getting someplace. Okay, so this is the print, um, the primary print that I pulled. This is the ghost print that I created with, um, you know, just a leftover, pulling those leftover ghost prints. And then I went in with a Neo color. Um, that was really fun. And, you know, it's, it's not, you, you know, you could do a lot with these if you just you know, let yourself experiment and play. And I can't um, 
say enough about using some mixed media techniques. Like, um, if I didn't have Neocolor crayons, I, I could have done this with colored pencils, watercolor pencils. This would be really fun to do with watercolor pencils. Um, just let yourself experiment a little. It's a lot of fun to do. You could do it with um, artist markers or something like that as well. Just uh, give yourself permission to play and you could really have a lot of fun with these. And I think both of them are just as strong um, pieces. I mean, either one could be a framer, you know. I had a lot of fun doing both and um, I, I'm really happy with both pieces. Now, that being said, I don't throw away my roll-off pieces. You know, don't throw these out. I mean, this could be a lovely piece of collage paper, and so could this. I mean, these are both from today, okay? Um, these are excellent for collage. Um, so I just dry them out, and, um, you know, I, I just really love these. I use them all the time, and I have... Um, a couple of videos up where I'm using these collage papers um, and cutting them and using the colors and you can see that um, in my inspired by Matisse um, collage I'm using just um, jelly roll-offs and um, older um, pieces that were just ghost prints like the, this one where I, you know, maybe I wasn't 100% satisfied with it that I just cut up and used as collage. So everything is an opportunity to create a new piece of art. Okay. Okay, this is another ghost print that I did with a handmade stencil. This is one I cut um, out. And it's just the shape of a woman and I've used it a bunch of times so it's got tape and tape and stuff on it but so what I have right now instead of the neo color is I have the super soft pencils which are water soluble and they're they're also neo color brand and I really love these you could do a bunch of different things with them um what's so great about them is you could actually use these with oil medium if you wanted to, and they look amazing. Um, and but I I like them with water as well. Um, but a very famous up and coming artist in London shared his trick with me one time on when he was very new. Um, to the London art scene and I loved his work and I, I messaged him on Instagram and he, he told me what he did and he told me that he used this particular kind of pencil. Now I am a colored pencil fiend and I have every kind imaginable. I like Derwent, um, I love Prismacolor and I love all the different types for different purposes. I draw, I do this um, particular type of um, color pencil on metal process that looks like almost like enamel. It's baked on and stays forever. And um, I do those with Prismacolors. Um, and the, certain types work differently for different processes and these super softs are like butter I just love these and they're amazing and I want to say they're not super durable like they don't last as long like as some of the other ones but they're just beautiful they're wonderful pencils now I like to color with these too I'm not I don't just use these with water. So, so sometimes you just need to embellish just a little on this stuff and it brings out the colors just enough. Now we're working with complementary colors here, which is why this is so dynamic. And so I just want to bring out some of this 
and make it more dynamic. And that's why I'm coming in with more pops of this really bright green and I'm embellishing some of the red areas and where I've kind of lost some of the details, I'm going back in. In some places I'm embellishing the interior spaces and some places I'm doing the negative space. And I'm kind of just playing it by ear for that. Now, I've got two different color reds, a very warm one and a very cool one, which is something I also do. And you can just go by what, follow your intuition on what colors you want to use for now. Let it be your guide. It was um, in this particular session, I was creating a short video. And I like the, um, and this happens sometimes when you're making prints, I really liked the ghost print far better than I liked the one that I was thinking was gonna be my primary print. That happens a lot. I mean, it's just the nature of printmaking. Um, sometimes you're primary print comes out like a bust and your and your um, ghost print is amazing and that is just what happens so keep your mind open and especially think in terms of coming in later and just playing with these colors and um, try out some of these different um, pencils like the Derwent pencils are beautiful. Um, these are gorgeous. There's so many things to choose from and you don't have to get the gigantic set to start out. Try some of the smaller sets. See what pencils you like. Um, start out with the smaller set of Neocolor. Um, I, would, I would say to start out with the Neocolor 2s. Um, because you can use them either way. And then if you really love them, you might want to try the Neo Color ones. Um, and, um, uh, go from there because there's so much we can do with them to, you know, bring these up a level and, um, it's, you know, and just play because that's what art is about, you know, just getting in there and being creative and seeing where it leads you. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you start out with an idea, but it leads you in another direction. And that's just what the story is with art and working on um, different art projects. So, yeah, my ghost print turned out better than the other, you know, primary print in this case. And I just didn't like it at all. So that one I think I'll just print over and try something new with, with it, you know? I'm gonna leave it right there. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel because it really helps my channel grow and I really do appreciate it so much. Thanks for coming and I'll see you again soon.